Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about launchers for the Steam Deck, which allows you to play almost any game from other marketplaces. First, I want to thank everybody for watching all of my previous videos on the Steam Deck. You all have been amazing in the comments. I'm super humbled by how kind you have all been. So first, I just want to thank you all for watching those videos and engaging and whatnot. It's been a blast. You all have been amazing, super nice in the comments. I can't, can't believe the overwhelming positivity you all have shown me and I'm just really, really happy. So I can't thank you all enough. That being said, if you're liking the videos and liking the content, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I gotta say it because it helps me out with the uh, YouTube algorithm. So if you can at least, you know, real quick, just hit like or subscribe, that'd be awesome. All right, so we're gonna be talking about launchers today. You probably have a Steam Deck and you have all of these games and other marketplaces and you probably can't play them right now. In today's video, we're gonna cover launchers and basically how to install them and install games. I'll have the how-to at the end of this video so you can watch. I'll put the link to the Reddit post in the description as well as the instructions in the descriptions below so you can check that out if you wanna follow along the actual write-up, which some people like better than actually following the video. I actually like to do follow write-ups. I don't like to watch videos, although it is helpful to see it in action as well. So hopefully this will help you understand uh, the best way to install these launchers. When it comes to launchers, you have basically four of the most popular ones that I'm going to cover here. You have Ubisoft, you have Epic Games, you have EA Origin, and you also have GOG. Now with these launchers, they're marketplaces where you may already own games and you can play them on your PC, but they actually work with the Steam Deck, believe it or not. You can install these launchers and you can actually install games from these launchers onto your Steam Deck on your on your internal micro SD, on your internal storage. You can install them pretty much on an external hard drive if you wanted to. It all it all works and it's pretty great that I figured this out and I just wanted to share it with you all because I think it's awesome. Let's get these out the way. Now, if you're like me, you probably are having a blast playing the Steam Deck. As you can see here, this is how I play the Steam Deck. I'm sure you all can relate, right? But sometimes you'll find games, which I ran into with Jedi Fallen Order, where the Steam Deck says it's not compatible. But that's not true. So first, I wanna thank a Reddit user named Renzies. I hope I said that right. I discovered this person's post on Reddit and it, was basically show, it basically shows you how to install EA Origins, but this method actually works for all of the launchers. And so this is sort of the inspiration for this video was Renzi's post. So first, I just gotta say thank you Renzi for this post. Super helpful and it's been, it's been awesome. And I, you can see in the comments, everyone is super grateful for this post. And that's what I'm gonna be basing this video off. Now, if you try to download some of these launchers, like the GOG launcher or the EA Origins, uh, the light launcher is the one that is the one that I use. You can't download them through the Linux browser or the Firefox browser in on the Steam Deck. So I have uploaded them to uh, Google Cloud, and you can check the link in the description. You can just download them from them there just from your Steam Deck. So you don't have to go from your computer and put them on there just to sort of, sort of simplify some of the things. Now for Ubisoft and for Epic, you can just go to the website and download the installer. Now one of the amazing things is the Steam Deck offers is Proton, which allows you to run Windows applications within the Linux OS. So yeah, it just basically you just have to go through all the settings and, and set them up appropriately. You can just go into Steam and change the compatibility mode, which I'll show you here in a few minutes. Now there's one thing I'd like to add is there's also something called the Heroic Launcher, which is essentially Epic Games and GOG made launcher from a group that you can install on the Steam Deck through their discovery apps and you can install it from there and that also will work too. I 
didn't you I don't use that one I did it to test and it, it does work pretty well I had some issues trying to install the Witcher through the GOG app I just got I was getting a bunch of errors so I used the heroic launcher and installed it and then I changed the directory in the GOG galaxy app and it worked so it's pretty it's pretty intuitive it's another option you can have if you want that one all right now let's get into it I'll show you here on how to install a launcher okay now I'm going to show you how to install one of the launchers I'm going to do the epic games store launcher so you can get it from their site is up here I'll put the link in the description but you can just google it it's gonna download it and go to the downloads folder so next you want to you want to make sure you're in your desktop mode as well just so you just so you know I'm up steam and we got to add it to the library so we go to games Add non Steam game to my library. I'm gonna browse. Make sure you check all files. You wanna go to the downloads folder. So, home, deck, download. There you go. There's the Epic installer. So, I just click open, add selected programs, and get in your library here. There it is. All right, it won't work yet because we need to set it up with compatibility for Proton. So manage no properties, compatibility. I usually use Proton 7. Put out, now we can launch it. And it'll install using Proton. I don't want to change it. I'm just going to install it. This is going to go, this is going to install locally on the Steam Deck. So I'm just going to click install. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this same Epic installer thing that we just had. we got to change it to the installed EXE, right? It could have just installed this. So we'll go to Properties, Browse. This is, I'll put the install location in the description below. We want to go to Home, Deck. Make sure you have all files here so you can see hidden files because you want to go to .local. There. there we go. The Steam, Steam apps, Compat data. Usually it installs on date. First, did it install on the 20th? Yep, right there. Yep. Go. All right. Open it up. Go to PFX. You want to remember this number here, right? So I'll get to that in a moment. You want to remember this number here your games I would actually put in a sticky note this is where I already saved them previously for the other installs what did I say that is zero space this is an important number just want to remember it all right so now we save that all right so back to this pfx drive c I think it's yeah, it's program files x86 epic oop, not it. epic games Launcher, portal, binaries? Yeah, 32. I'll put this in the description as well. You want to find that games launcher.exe. Open. I'm going to change the name as well. You don't have to do this. I like to call them launchers. All right, so we're done here. But uh, now we can launch it. And it should work in game mode, but I'm not going to do that right now because I want to install Metro. I don't own Metro on Steam. I own it on Epic Games Store. And that's one of the nice things about having the launchers is you can manage your updates a lot, a lot easier when you have these installed. Okay, now we just sign in. Uh, sign in with my Epic Games account. Okay, maximize that. Now we're in, we're in business. Out. Okay for that. I'm gonna go to my library because I don't care about all this. I just want to install one of the games that I own. So library, install Metro. Don't install Metro Exodus Enhanced. I made that mistake. It won't work on the Steam Deck. The ray tracing. So I'm going to install this. Now it's gonna ask me where to install. So you can install this to your micro SD card. So I can show you. Hopefully it doesn't freeze on me. So here's where you can change the install location, but. Oh, this always pops up. Another annoying thing. Okay. So you want to go, if you want to install it to your SD card, 
going to be here under my computer. I don't know how drive letters are assigned, but mine happens to be drive E. I'm just showing you where it's at. And here you can install it here if you want. I already did it to test it and it works. So you can pick here, create your folders and whatnot, and then you can pick that location and it will install. Now I'm not doing that. I'm going to install it uh, locally. So I'm just going to cancel. So this will install to the local SSD, which is the 256 gig that I gig drive on mine. And so now I'm just going to click install. Okay. Game is installed. You can close out Epic Games. I like to close it out in Steam. So if you're in desktop, sorry, if you're in game mode, I like to close it out through Steam because you get a lot of uh, errors where it like hangs and stuff. I'm gonna go to games, add non-Steam game to my library. Browse, and you wanna go to home, slash dex, slash dot local, slash share, slash steam, slash steam apps, compat data, and this is where that number that I told you to document or remember, right here. So I'm gonna open up that, make sure you have all files. Get to the game, the exe file. It installs under the program files, Epic Games, Your Exodus, I'm gonna find metroexodus.exe. Okay, the add select the programs. And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure compatibility, force compatibility. Again, I use Proton 7. And then don't forget this. I have one more thing. I'll put this in the description. So you wanna take this line which will tell the game essentially to run the directory of the launcher install. Copy that. Paste. This number here, you wanna change that number to that number I told you again. Change that, the number I told you to save, you wanna change it. Again, that'll tell it to run in that directory, which will allow you for sync saves and auto sign in and things like that. So remember, this do not skip this step. It'll work if you don't, but for games like The Witcher with GOG, if you don't do this, you won't get your cloud saves to load or to work. Close it out. Now let's go back into game mode and see if it works. Okay, we'll do on Steam, what did it say? Metro, Matt, and play. Wow. And that's sort of it. You can just use that method on any of those launchers that you have and it'll work. So like I said, I really hope you all enjoy this video. I hope it was useful for you. And I hope that you found this video entertaining. I love putting these out for you. I love the Steam Deck and I just really enjoy this community that we're sort of building here. And yeah, uh, Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you soon again and maybe hopefully next week, maybe two weeks.